Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back again to Cheat Code Jiu Jitsu. Jeff here, still working side mount submissions right now. Got another fun one for you today. We're gonna do a no-gi baseball choke. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I have actually never worn a gi in my life. So the only way I learned how to do a baseball bat choke was without a gi. I was actually surprised to learn that you can do it with a gi, which tends to be most people's reaction when they find out you can do it without a gi. But I've got a couple little setups here. I'll show you how I do it. There's some different grips that you can use, but I've got a nice little nasty approach to it. And I, I like, if I possibly can, to work it from the bottom staple position that I showed him in our last video because it takes away his primary defense to my baseball choke, which I'll show you right now. So Alex down here in side control. So I'm gonna show you the basic grip setup for a no -gi baseball choke. I'm gonna take my top arm, I'm gonna slide under his head, and I'm going palm down on his shoulder. That's where I get right there. This hand is gonna come up his chest, and then I'm gonna lock something in here. Uh, you'll notice a recurring theme in a lot of my videos is gable grip or three finger grip. On a lot of my darts chokes, Japanese neckties, German neckties, things like that, I've commented that the choice between gable grip and three finger grip is a personal preference. This, it's not. If you're gonna do this choke and you're gonna put that gable grip on, the gable grip is not gonna be nearly as effective as a three finger grip in this position because if you do the gable grip, okay, do a gable grip. Take your elbows and try to run your elbows past. You'll see they kind of run into a block right there. Change that to a three finger grip and all of a sudden my elbows just slide straight past each other. This right here is the choke that I'm gonna do. Is slide my elbows together, use a three finger grip, it's much more effective than a gable grip. This slides in, goes here, this is gonna come up. I put my grip in place, go three finger. This elbow that is currently on his chest is gonna come up and drop on the other side. And then I'm going to elevate here and drive down, pinching my elbows together to put the baseball choke together. His primary defense to a no-gi baseball choke, uh, basically works the same way in a gi, is when I come in here and I get my hands together, you see how Alec has got his hand posted on the inside of my elbow, okay? That's great defense for him because now it's very difficult for me to bring my elbow around. He's got a nice block in place. Which is why, if I'm setting up my no-gi baseball choke, I'd really like to set it up from bottom staple because it pins this down and makes it just nearly impossible for him to use this hand to block my elbow from coming across. So like we did with the arm crush as well as the last series, I'm going down here, I'm pulling this elbow up, trying to get into position. Alex having none of that, he throws that elbow down. Over grip, pin it, go to top staple. I don't like doing this from here because with top staple, my body is a little bit too far down his body, so it makes it difficult for me to get into position. But if I get here, just like in the arm crush video, slide down to his wrist, windshield wiper this in. You see how I'm kind of climbing up his body? That's what I want for my no-gi baseball choke. So I'm still in a side position. This goes underneath of the head. I grip the shoulder. This comes up underneath. I put my three finger grip in place. And then from here, this staple stays in place. Elbow comes across and then I'm going to lift his head, grind that down in, catch right here on the side of his throat. Works out to be a super effective choke. Different people use some different grips for this. Um, I see people come in here and they use more of an S grip and pinch right there. Uh, one of the things about using the S grip in this position is it's putting the flat part of your wrist up against the guy's neck. Uh, my buddy Ronnie Rhodes loves using this. He's extremely effective with it. What The way I describe it to most people is when you use an S grip, it tends to be less energy for me to finish the choke. It comes on a little bit more of a blood choke, but it also comes on a lot slower. The way that I do it with the three finger grip, grinding in, I'm going outside blade of my wrist, really hard down into his throat. It's very painful, it comes on very fast, but it also requires a little bit more energy from me. So 
That's a personal preference, whether you prefer doing it S grip, or you like doing it three finger grip. I prefer the three finger grip. I just like the way it ends, the baseball choke. But if you prefer to do it the other way, nothing wrong with setting that up too. So back to the beginning, side mount, reaching down, grab the elbow, he pulls that down, over grip the wrist, pin it, top staple, set up shot, that slides down, windshield wiper in. I've got my bottom staple in place. I slide underneath of the head, go to the shoulder, this comes through because this arm is pinned. He has nothing to block my elbow. So I put my three finger grip in place, elbow up, across, drop it down, elevate the head, pinch the elbows together, finish the no-gi baseball choke. Super effective, uh, great one to catch. That is by far not the only position that you can catch that choke from. It's sneaky, it comes on really fast. A lot of guys don't expect it. Do some videos in the future, I'm sure, on some other setups to get to that no-gi baseball choke. Really good, one of my personal favorites. Uh, if you've got a different grip option that you like to use, feel free to drop a comment down below. Let me know how you like to do it. And maybe we'll do another video in the future on some alternate setups and some alternate grips. If you like the video, please hit, hit the like button. Helps me out with helping YouTube show my videos to people and the suggestions and search boxes and everything. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. Helps me out a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.